Hello and thanks for joining us here for 13 Action News live at 6. I'm Todd Quinones and I'm Trisha Keen. It is a night medical workers in the valley will never forget. The emotional scars from 1 October remain for many who worked at hospitals and medical centers on that fateful night. And right now, as we approach the four year anniversary of the tragedy, a doctor is now opening up about that night. And he spoke to 13 Action News reporter Abel Garcia and Abel. He says says the memories from that night, they're still fresh. Yeah, Todd and Trisha, Dr. Davidson tells me that when he arrived to the front of this emergency room, he found tons of trucks, cars and ambulances filled with patients who needed immediate care. He says this has been one of the most difficult nights of his entire career. And I do have to warn you that some of the images you are about to see may be disturbing. I've uh, worked through all kinds of scenarios. Uh, I don't think anything will ever rise and I would hope will never rise. Uh, to what we uh, worked through that evening. Dr. Jeff Davidson was getting ready for bed on the night of 1 October. His son was watching the news, watching the chaos unfold. Minutes later, Davidson received the call. He was needed at Valley Hospital as soon as possible. I do remember driving down here. It seemed surreal. Uh, it had not really sunk in what um, had happened. I don't think anyone had anticipated it yet. Dr. Davidson says the entrance to the ER was filled with personal vehicles and ambulances, patients wounded and in critical condition trying to get in as fast as possible. He says it was a scene out of a movie. Many of them fully dressed still, some of them with very obvious wounds, uh, many of them with tourniquets uh, that had still been timed so that we would know um, how long the tourniquet had been on. Dr. Davidson says the emergency room was already busy when more than 60 victims arrived, all needing immediate medical attention. He described the hospital as a war zone, a scene he will never forget. And I hope no one ever has to go through this, uh, but until you go through it, uh, you realize your thinking uh, is taking a back seat to just working and doing. What kept Dr. Davidson going were the people in his care, the patients whose lives were in his hands, the long hours, and the emotional hugs of comfort for those he saved, one of them captured in this photo. This was probably the first patient I physically assisted with that evening and uh, who has been in my mind for all these years. One October, a night that changed his life and everyone who worked in this emergency room. I think that evening uh, will uh, remain with me for the rest of my career. Yeah, Dr. Davidson tells me him and many of his team members are still processing what exactly happened on that night. He says they are continuing to prepare, working on their mental health and prepare for scenarios just like this one to make sure they can provide that critical care in a time of need. Abel Garcia, 13 Action News.